Hi guys, today I will be reading Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. So I'm gonna let a little of this song play. Can't play too much because they're copywriters. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'm messing around and I looked out the window. Shouldn't have looked out the window. But today, the book that I have is Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. I played a little of that song so that you guys can get the tune for the song that the that goes along with the book. And Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. It was written by Eric Litwin. And the art was um, by James Dean, which was the creator of Pete the Cat. So at the end, I'm gonna pop up a few activities that I saw on Facebook that you might wanna do um, to go along with the book. So Pete the Cat and his four groovy buttons. My disclaimer is I cannot sing, but I'll try. And this is the title page, which is the page that, that is inside the book, which sometimes there's a dedication page, which this one has as well. And then you have the title page, which restates the title from the front of the book. And the back of the book always tells you something about what's going on inside of the book. And the spine or the this part of the book, it holds the book together. So we call it the spine because it's just like your spine down your back. It holds you together. Okay. Well, here we go. Pete the cat put on his favorite shirt with four big, colorful, round, groovy buttons. He loved his buttons so much, he sang this song. My buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons, my buttons. I'm going to have to turn my green screen off, you guys, because I see that you can't see the book behind it. So as I adjust that, you sing, my buttons, my buttons, my four groovy buttons. And there we go. I am fortunate to have a green screen, yes. So, anyway, here we go. Oh, no. One of the buttons popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left, you guys? I know you're smart, so you know there are how many? Three buttons. We're right. Four minus one equals three. So he has one, two, three. And can you see the buttons? And can you tell your grown up what color the buttons are? What color is this one? What color is that one? And what color is that one? So remember, you got three buttons left. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept singing his song, my buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my three groovy buttons. Pop, ping, ping, ping. Oh no, another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Can you guess? Let's see. Two, yes, you're so smart. Three minus one equals two. So if you hold up three fingers and you take one finger away, you'll have two. Did P cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. P kept singing his song. 
my buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons, my buttons, my buttons, my two groovy buttons. Pop, bing, bang. Oh, no. Another button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Did you guess it? Are you ready? Let's see together. One, two, minus one, equals one. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. He kept on singing his song. My buttons, my buttons, my, full, my one groovy button. Trying to turn my ringer off because my phone was ringing. Pop! Oh, no! The last button popped off and rolled away. How many buttons are left? Zero. Make a zero. Zero. Did P cry? Goodness, no. Buttons come and buttons go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt. And what do you think he saw? What do you think? You guessed. Hmm, let's see. His belly button. And he kept on singing his song. What is his song? My button, my button. Still have my belly button. My button, my button. Still have my belly button. He said, it's all good. It simply goes to show that stuff will come and stuff will go. But do we cry? Goodness, no. We keep on singing our song. Buttons come and buttons go. And there's Pete without a button on his shirt because all four of his buttons have rolled away. And that's the end of the book. But don't cry. There are more Pete to Cat, Cat books to read. So I have some more of the Pete to Cat books, but hopefully next week we'll be back in the classroom and we can read those in person. Okay. So I'm going to show your parents really quick the images that I saw. That's something that you can make at home, parents. Don't have to be exactly like that, but hey, just a simple marker, crayon, or whatever with the number, or dot. If you have buttons, you can use buttons. If you don't have buttons, you can use something else. I'm sorry. That goes to another one. You, If you're crafty and you can cut and make Pete and his buttons, that one is a cute idea as well. And so is this one where they made a copy of the shirt with the yellow construction paper and they made two buttons to go with it. So I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope to see you guys very soon in person. And I must go because my doorbell is not going to ring. So everybody have a great day and see you guys on Monday.